Route 9, Tepyong Hwasun Ole. Route Overview. Let's set off on Jeju Ole Trail, Route 9, connecting Tepyong to Hwasun. Route 9 is 6.7 kilometers long and takes around 3 to 4 hours. The level of difficulty for hiking is high. First of all, here are the main spots of Route 9. Starting from Tepyong Pogu, the port, it passes through Moljil, Paksu Gijang, the Bolinang Path, Pongsude, the Smoke Signal Tower, Wolabong, the Jinji Cave, Olengiso Peak, Jinmoru Dongsan, Changochan Bridge, and ends at Hwasun Golden Sand Beach. The length of the route is half the length of other routes, but climbing up Wolabong and Paksu Gijang is quite challenging. Especially, it's not allowed to enter both places after 3 p.m. because of the lush forest. Please make sure you check your departure time. It is quite possible to get lost there if you cannot come down before sunset. Arriving at Tepyong Pogu, the starting point, your eyes may be attracted to Paksu Gijang, which displays its well-carved shapes. Paksu means drinking spring water with a water bowl, and Kijang in Jeju dialect for a cliff. As both meanings are combined, it is named Paksu Kijang, which implies drinking spring water with a water bowl under the cliff wall in all seasons. Another name is Pyeongpung Kijang, or folding screen cliff, meaning that the Jusangjali stretch out like a folding screen. Route 9 starts with a rocky uphill. The narrow path is only wide enough for one person to pass at a time and creates an optical illusion that the forest formed by wild vines just looks like a hole. You'll probably feel as if you're going into a secret garden. After the short but sweat-inducing route, a wide field comes out and soon the rest area of the top of Paksu Gijong welcomes you. As looking down from the top of Paksu Gijong, please try to leisurely appreciate the beautiful scenery of Nanduru with long and flat fields. Now from the top, as you pass by Bolinang Path, meaning linden trees, the uphill portion of Wolabong begins. Here you can see the farmland planted with crops on your left. You can see Jinji Caves, or Japanese bunkers, which were created during the period of Japanese occupation along the way. Without a boring moment, a variety of views continuously spreads out. As Wolabong is quite high among Jeju's autumns, you may be out of breath while hiking. If you only focus on hiking without any pleasure of observing the beautiful scenery, you'll just remember it as a challenging route. So take enough time for a breath and enjoy the magnificent views while hiking Wolabong. By the time you come down the mountain, you will hear the sound of water flowing from somewhere. That's the sound of the waterfall coming from Andok Valley, and it sounds like it is cheering you every step you take. Now, you will see Hwangyechan, where a valley stream leads to the sea. When springtime comes, Hwangyechan is filled with canola blossoms, and the surrounding areas are covered in yellow everywhere. Although the Jeju Ole Trail doesn't go to the front of Andok Valley, it is recommended to take a short trip along the decks to meet the valley embraced by Wolabong when you hear the sound of water flowing. Since the whole Andok Valley is designated as a natural monument, you will vividly experience the magnificence of nature. It is difficult to see the autumn leaves in Jeju, but Andok Valley is beautifully colored with autumn leaves in the fall. After passing the Andok Valley and the Hwangyechan Stream, a quiet path leads to Hwasun Village, waiting for you. Oh, one thing to remember is that if you start hiking Route 9, there are no shops or restaurants until the end. So make sure to bring some food in advance in case you get hungry and replenish your energy whenever you come across a bench with a nice view. Or, if you are hiking with a light weight, hike all the way from the starting point to the finishing point on an empty stomach and enjoy a really delicious meal near the dining and restaurant areas around Hwasun Golden Sand Beach. Are you curious about where to get your Jeju Ole stamps? They're located at the starting point, Daepyeong Pogu Port, the midpoint, Changochan Bridge, 
and the finishing point, the Jeju Ole Information Center at Hwasun Golden Sand Beach.